A huge shout out to Blizzard for sponsoring this and a ton of Warcraft Rumble videos on our channel. Let's get into it. Hello everybody, Jake your resident content cowboy here, yeehaw, and this is a perfect day in Warcraft Rumble. What I'm gonna do is everything that you need to do to get all of the rewards you can possibly get in a day. This is a nice beginner guide if you haven't played the game too much, and you'll kind of understand why I do what I do. First off, you wanna head to the shop, see what's new inside there, and then of course, get whatever freebie they offer right here. So for us, it's gonna be some experience for the quill board. Some days, like Sunday, they have multiple rewards on a Sunday. We take a look at all of these things, and then we head out here. One of the things I always try to do is take a look at my Arclight Surge. Obviously, I want to get that taken care of for my guild. And then the Dark Moon Fire... I don't know how to say it. Uh, fair, I'm guessing, <laughs> is up right now. So I try to pair things that I can do to complete my tome quests down here, right? With my Dark Moon Fair, and if I can, with my Arc Light Surge. I also take a look at my guild right here, and I see kind of where we're at. It's the start of a new season, right? Season seven just hit. We obviously have the Scenarian family coming very soon, but right now we're grinding with these families here. So far, not a single one is like maxed out. If any of these were maxed out right here, I would prioritize, you know, using the ones that weren't like let's say you know beast and alliance were maxed out i would prioritize black rock or horde or something like that heading into an arc light surge but let's take a look at our arc light surge right here our arc light surge is alliance undead so they give us the units we don't get to choose what we bring in there and then our dark moon fair wants daily challenges win three battles with undead leaders kind of perfect win any five battles kind of perfect for defeating an arc light surge and then win three battles with an alliance mini we are like luckily hitting like the jackpot right here if we weren't there were a few other things we would do also i have claim a sigil as my weekly challenge so i'm just gonna start this right here i'll take you through you know a little bit of this uh arc light surge so i can get the extra gold and i can get the bonuses for my guild whatever you win with in this like those bonuses you just kind of see them at the end they pop out for your guild so we'll go ahead and do this arc light surge real quick i wonder what our setup is we got Jaina. can i explode you almost i'm just gonna get rid of that miner real quick and let's see if this ghoul can take care of this elemental maybe with a little support from our Griffin Rider, it could. Jaina's going to be in some trouble right here. There's, I, It's not going to make it out of this Raider. It's going to blink back a little bit, but it's still going to go down. Maybe I can Holy Nova? Nope, I didn't do it in time. I'm done. All right, let's see. We've got our Ghoul walking. This Raider goes down to our tower right here. I think it might be fun to throw Abomination down. I don't play with it too often. It's going to walk center. Their Miner got all of that, unfortunately. We sacrificed our Jaina in the wrong way. I could probably... Ooh, it's going to be a little tough uh, fight for us here. I could probably take down this hammer with this Harvest Golem. Dang, Abomination is so strong. I'm going to send our Miner up this path here. And I'll maybe have it walk with the Blood Mage. Yeah, we took it down. Ooh, nice. I'm gonna see if I can. Ah, I can't get him. No! He still got my miner. Okay. We're powering up our blood mage, though. It's gonna be really strong right now. It's level 26. Harvest golem walking. Unfortunately, we're not getting any mining done. He goes down in one. I'm gonna send a griffin rider here. Oh yeah, I've got the chicken thing. That's pretty fun. These spells are powered up with her on the battlefield. Can I get someone here? I don't think I can. I can try to blow it up. Feels like a waste, but I just don't want them to get any more gold, you know? Send our mage up here. They will just not let us mine. It's not in the cards for us, guys. Go. 
Griffin walking. No miner yet. Derek Miner is walking down though. I'm gonna set our miner right here and just mine this close farm. It's close to old. And then for here. I'll put cheat death on. I'll just blow him up with some spells. Cool. Alright, we still need to set a miner through this mid path here. Ooh, he's gonna get a bolt easy. Griffin Rider. I really, really want this gold. We don't have any unbound units, I've noticed, for this one, which is a bit of a bummer. Can walk you mid. Ah, he couldn't make it happen. He got close, though. Let's put Jaina down. Let's put our mage down, too. Kind of blow some of this up. With some powerful spells. I think we win this. Put Cheat Death on him. Huge! All right. So, we'll play that, obviously. We'll go through the rest of this Arclight Surge, and then we'll come back for a Heroic. A few moments later. So, after clearing four of my arc light surges right here, with this still having two days left on it, I'm actually going to hold it for a second. We've got a few things done in my Dark Moon Fair right here, and now we still need to get a sigil and win any, every, uh, any five battles here. So I have to find a good place to do a sigil on my heroic missions. Let's take a look. It looks like I'm one sigil away on this branch snapper mission for beast. I'm gonna see which beast. I, I probably just wanna bring in my absolute favorite unit, which is old Murkai. Got it right here. Let's give it a shot. Ooh, got a lot. I'm gonna try to stop some of this here with our eggs. Yes. All right, we got both their miners. Huge. The way this game works, like the the enemy, they literally they mine like one gold is worth like eighty gold to them. It's very bizarre. So I feel like getting rid of them is very important in PVE. Oh my gosh, we absolutely crushed it. We're a high level at this point, so it was good to save this one. It's nice to save a few of the heroics like this, just in case I need that sigil. That was easy, breezy, beautiful. We take that, we get our sigil, I level up my units. I prioritize leveling up my units. Like if there's one I really like, like I like this bat, but if they're both equal, and one is closer to leveling up, I usually will pick the one that's closer to leveling up. That way I'm able to, you know, uh, increase my rank. All right, so we got all of our Dark Moon Fair. We have all of our quests right here. Let's go, you're close. You're closer, still like you. So we've got this one, give it to the wolf. Give it to the bird. Mm, this one I could kind of go either way, but I use them more than I do that hero. I love this unit. Witch Doctor's so fun. Ooh, they both level here. It's a huge bonus. I'll give it to him. I'll give it to the brute. Nice. We got a level two for Karen. A level here for Baron. Dang, what a solid day. And a level for Blood Mage. Nice, four of these too. So we're close to our next collection level of 40, which would be sick. We've got all of our Dark Moon Fair. We've got all of our rewards right here that reset at midnight. We, you know, increased the guild here as much as we could for the day. I'm gonna save this last one. You could of course play it out. I'm just gonna save it in case a mission tomorrow actually works pretty well with it. 
and then we are set to go. That's about a perfect day of Warcraft Rumble. I hope you enjoyed that. Of course, other things you could do is you could clear out this grid. You could look for things that you want. If there's a hero that's getting close, like honestly, my, my uh, Torin's getting kind of close here, so I can grab another one of those. I can see what the rest of this looks like right here and see if there are any that I want to pick up. I kind of want to pick up some more Dark Iron Miners. Little quick tip, if you move this here, obviously, it can eliminate multiple units like that because it eliminates in, you know, horizontal and vertical lines around it. But there you go. That is a perfect day of Warcraft Rumble. It's a quick way to go through all your quests, to go through your Arc Light Surges, to go through your whatever, you know, bonuses happening right now, like the Dark Moon Fair. Of course, depending on what's going on, you could do a Stormwind Siege, you could do a Dungeon Crawl or something like that. But I thought this would be a nice guide for people who are just kind of just either getting back into Rumble or playing a lot of Rumble for the first time, that's a nice way to clear out everything for the day and then focus on whatever you want to do, like pushing PvP, pushing PvE, something like that. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for listening. Thanks again to Blizzard for sponsoring this video. I love you. I'll see you all next time. We'll have a ton of content when the new family drops too. Mm -hmm. We did it.